The 2023 bond was designed to build new schools and make significant capital improvements without raising the tax rate. But when you're at the polls getting ready to vote, you might scratch your head trying to understand the ballot language. Let's sort through it together. In 2019, House Bill 3 brought significant changes to school district bond referendums. As a result, voters will see wording on the ballot that states, this is a property tax increase. This may be confusing for voters because Bashop ISD will not be raising your property tax rate based on the outcome of the 2023 bond election. Pass or fail, the Bastrop ISD tax rate will be the same. The bond proposition, if approved, will be funded by existing and anticipated property value growth in the district. Rising property values, combined with the district's history of strong debt management practices and prevailing low interest rates, are what allows Bastrop ISD to ask for voter approval for bond projects without increasing the tax rate. In fact, the BISD School Board has voted to lower the tax rate for the last four years, resulting in nearly a 19-penny decrease. So what will the bond do for our community? In short, it will address the tremendous growth we've experienced and it will meet the demand of families who want top-notch facilities and programs for their children. With the 2023 bond, we will build two elementary schools, number 9 and number 10, add new academic wings at Bastrop High School and Cedar Creek High School, and create more classrooms at the Colorado River Collegiate Academy in Genesis. We will demolish older buildings at Mina Elementary and construct a new two-story school to include a kitchen and dining facility and expanded playground space. One thing the 2023 bond will not do is raise your tax rate. For more information, visit our website, bisdtx.org bond 2023. Early voting is April 24th through May 2nd. Election day is Saturday, May 6th.